This is my 15 gallon tank. A Fluval Flex. It sits right next to my 75 gallon. Now the Fluval Flex is normally a freshwater tank, but I did make a video on easily converting to salt water. Not difficult at all, honestly. And it's been a great tank. Now the reason I started this tank is because those two little clowns right there were destroying my Ganyapora, one of them out of my main tank. So here they are in their own environment. It was a simple tank and it was gonna have absolutely no coral in it. You know, if I'm gonna put a coral light and if I'm gonna sit here and make this tank into something special, it had to have something. Rather than coral, I kept it simple. As you can see here, what was just a little bit of GSP has grown crazy out of control. That was done on purpose. I wanted the entire rock work covered with GSP. Now, the advantage of that is that the only other things that are in this tank originally were these two anemones. And there's this beautiful one right here. Look at these bubbles. And the clowns make their home in this particular anemone. The other anemone, which is currently closed up due to the water change, is home to an anemone crab. And yes, that is pulsing GSP you see in the background. Will it overtake the entire tank? <laughs> Absolutely, but that's ultimately the goal. I want this tank to have just lots of long flowing coral in the background to really help highlight the clown's hosting behavior. In the front, there's a beautiful rock here that highlights some of my recent additions, which are some rock flower nems. Really love the colors of these, plus the ultra sitting at the very top. At the very front is my little mushroom rock featuring a small Japanese toadstool. It's one of the babies of the much bigger one I have in my 90 gallon tank, a couple of Yuma ricks and some other just random caps. Not to mention the feather dusters on each side of the tank. The livestock of this particular tank, there's a few snails in here, uh, an emerald crab, some hermits. There's a redheaded goby. There is a Rainford's goby in here as well. Uh, a watchman goby, which eventually as he gets bigger, will go in the bigger tank and my lawnmower blenny. Now the lawnmower blenny, I know this is not the right size tank for him, but he's still small. There's plenty of exploring areas for him and he seems to be thriving and doing great. And of course the two clowns. Parameters. I really wish I could tell you, I have not tested this one in a while. And this leads me to the next point, which I find it kind of ironic for my tanks. I've got multiple saltwater tanks, all with apex units, all with tridents. They get tested, they get dosed, everything imaginable. Not this one. This particular tank has no apex, no dosing. The only thing I do is a 50% water change or close to every couple of weeks. Yeah, it really should not be good for the tank stability to do that, but it's been working great. Now, the reason it's technically not 50%, it's five gallons, but when you're looking at displacement, it's about half of the water line right there. There is an auto top off system that I've put in here and had to modify a little bit, uh, but it's been working great. When we think about saltwater tanks, we always think of constant maintenance and that nano is difficult and it really isn't. Now I'm not saying don't do maintenance on your tanks as far as dosing and all that, but for me, with this particular tank, this experiment, if you will, I'm letting the results speak for themselves. And so far, everything's growing. The anemones are doing beautifully. They adjust it really well. You can really tell just by the bubbles of this one. You know, as far as the power head and the pump, I have the original pump that came with the Flex, and I added just a small, cheap aqua top power head because anything else was just simply too powerful. For my cleanup crew, I do have, until he gets bigger, a fighting conch, and boy, he travels everywhere. I don't have a lid on it currently, except for the original lid that I modified. My goal is to have a Kraken lid eventually put on here, because they do such a beautiful job. But for now, this one does great. You can see that I made these little adapters here to keep the light in place. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, etc., leave them down below. Have a great night and God bless.